Hi everybody, this is Chris with Golf Connect and today I want to show you uh, how to program and set up the T199. Now the same thing will apply for the uh, T522A. The only difference is uh, you'll need an adapter like this to go on your micro USB card and that would plug into the 522 underneath the battery to allow you to do the same thing. Basically you're adding a micro USB port uh, to the back of the 522 uh, to give it a interface for your computer. But uh, the T199, you'll notice that there's two micro USB uh, ports, one on the bottom for the battery, and that's just to charge the battery, so it gives you an option of charging the battery with a pretty common uh, cell phone charger. And then you have the micro USB on the side. Now this is the one that we're going to use to connect to the computer. And I'll show you a little closer on the computer so you don't have to try to squint. I'll flip to that. Uh, but basically I'm going to use a program called Visor Pro, V-Y-S-O-R dot I-O is the website. Uh, there's plenty of other applications that allow you to remote control an Android device. Uh, we're going to use this one because it's the one that I use. Feel free to use anything else that you're more comfortable with. But essentially, out of the box, you'll get it, you'll plug it in, um, and we'll head over to the computer to show you how to set that up. Now you do want to go ahead and turn the radio on if you haven't already. Um, this way you can connect it to the Wi-Fi and all that is going to be accessible. So if we take a look at the computer screen, uh, you're going to automatically see that a device was detected. Uh, Visor Pro, uh, or Visor, does detect a device It is going to connect to it. If it's the first time connecting, it will push the Visor APK, so it will install its own application on the device so you don't have to worry about not having a play store or anything like that. I've already connected it so I can get it connected to Wi-Fi so that way um, I don't have to show that password or anything on the screen but after you get to this point you pretty much just drag and drop your APKs. So if Zello is a program that you typically use you can go over to zello.com slash android and download the Zello APK file. I went ahead and saved that to my desktop and I'll show you how easy it is to get Zello installed. So here's the Zello APK that I've downloaded. Uh, we're just going to drag and drop. It'll say move and give you a little uh, icon indicator that it's going to transfer this to the device. Now it can take a, a minute or so uh, to get it transferred over but it, once it is transferred it will automatically launch the installation. Now you have two different flavors of Zello. You have Zello Regular, which will get you uh, most public and free push to talk. Uh, then there's Zello Work, which you have to have a business account signed up. That is a pretty pretty nice application. Uh, it does give you a cloud hosted push to talk service that um, works pretty well. Uh, you can sign up, and there's a monthly fee for that. There's also Walkie Fleet. Uh, that is a service that we provide through Golf Connect. It is also a cloud hosted or you can run it in your own system. So you can run it in your own company, in your data center, uh, on prem, on a server, uh, or on a desktop if you just want to set something up for you and your family. Uh, whatever you have works pretty well. Um, so here after it gets loaded, this is pretty much take it from here. You have complete control over the Android device. Um, you can sign in, load all your credentials, make sure you check any options since this is a screen free or a screen list device, you want to make sure that all of your options are enabled for auto running the application, auto signing in, and things like that. Uh, that way when you're not tethered to the computer and you don't have a screen to troubleshoot, the device will connect for you automatically. Now I'm going to go ahead and take Zello off because I use Walkie Fleet and what uh, you could do is just go into the settings like you normally would, hit settings and then you'll uninstall um, Zello from there. Now, let's say you're running another application, it's full screen, it launches all the time. You can drop down or drag down just like you would on your normal phone. And uh, you can click on the menu and the settings from here. So this is a, a quick way to get into the settings. And then from there, you can go into uh, application, or sorry, apps. And then you can pick your app and uninstall from there. And of course, Uninstalling from dragging the icon off the screen works uh, just as well. So once this uninstalls, I'm going to go back home and launch my app for Walkie Fleet. 
I'll go ahead and disconnect the radio. Now, the Zello Apple show disconnected our unhappy computer. Uh, you know, that's, that's showing you that it's been disconnected. Now, some common troubleshooting steps that you may have to take is uh, you may have to plug it in to your computer, let it hear the, chir the chirps from Windows detecting the new device, unplug it, plug it back in, out of the box when this is reset to factory and you get it, uh, it will be re opened up and ready for USB troubleshooting, USB debugging, since you can't get in there and change those settings yourself. That comes from the factory enabled and so does uh, um, allow APKs from unknown sources. So you don't run into any issues when you're trying to drag and drop APK files and tethering it to your computer. So once you turn it off and turn it back on, as long as you set up the application right, you'll hear notifications that uh, it's connected. You'll hear a loading uh, chime. Uh, sounds like an Android grinding wheels. There you go. Now give it time to boot up. It is going to launch that program. Uh, if you're using Wi-Fi or cellular even, it does need time to connect Searching to the network. It needs time to connect to the Wi-Fi network or cellular. Once it's connected to Wi-Fi, um, it will give you another uh, tone, letting you know that it is connected to Wi-Fi. And depending on the push to talk application that you have, um, most of them will give you some kind of notification or tone that it's connected to Wi-Fi and it's also logged into the push to talk service. And all you gotta do is just uh, carry on and use it as normal. So that is setting up the T199 screen list device. Same process through the T522A. Uh, it's also a device without a screen, but remember you will need this micro USB adapter that'll plug into the back of the radio underneath the battery. So you do have to take the battery off. You'll see four pinholes, slide that in, plug in your micro USB cable, and it's the same process on the computer from there. Now, if you have any questions or issues with the either one of the radios setting up and programming and installing your custom files or applications, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to do another video. Again, it's Chris with Golf Connect. And this was the T199 setup from a computer. Thank you.